but it tells you what line is an opening thoughts about the game over three quarter points. We got beat by a, a really good team. Uh, I think uh, Louisville is uh, terrific. Uh, Coach Tino does a great job. Uh, we've got to get better in some areas. Well, I mean, I think there's three simple things uh, for us. I mean, we haven't corrected. We've got to. Uh, we've got to play for 40 minutes. But we defended really well uh, in the second half. I was proud of the way our guys competed. Cannot give up 45, 50 points in one half or the other. Uh, and we've had a tendency to uh, do that. Uh, second thing is you can't turn the ball over. They're the best in the country, or at least if they're not the best, they're one of the best at converting turnovers into points. And uh, you know, we had 24 points off turnovers, uh, 8 points off of uh, rebounds, and uh, you just cannot contribute to a quality team. And, and they're certainly a, a championship caliber. Uh, and then uh, I think free throws. That free throw line 23 times can't miss free throws. Uh, you got to make uh, you got to make free throws. So we got to you got to get better. I was so proud of my guys, uh, not happy with the loss. I'm so proud of the preparation. I thought they competed hard. I thought they did a great job uh, the last two days. And uh, you know we're, we're, I'm certainly not happy where we're at with our record, our, our overall, or conference. And uh, the last thing I want to say before I open it up is, man, we've had two great home crowds, uh, SMU. Uh, and uh, tonight against uh, Louisville, happy for Coach Lewis, and certainly uh, very deserving uh, of all the accolades and honors, and uh, none more deserving than the, uh, the Hall of Fame. So to be able to honor one of our own, to have four uh, representatives in the Basketball Hall of Fame from one school is uh, truly amazing, so I was happy for that. But our, our fans, our student body, I'm uh, so happy. we got to do our part. we got to win home game. Questions? Questions, please. What, what happened? During the big run, first half of Louisville, the game was Did tied. Did it and turned the ball over? Go back and look at film, turnover, score. I mean, I'll give you one example. We have three guys get on the floor after a loose ball. Great job. Tion captures it, <clears throat> tries to pass it out. Pass it out, they get it, get a three-point play right there. And there's a situation where you just get it. At worst, at worst, you set your defense. You don't just give them a basket. And uh, you know, we had some others where, <coughs> excuse me, we turn the ball over, they go down and score. I'll have to look because I don't remember, but I think it's, it, it's uh, 18 points in the first half off turnovers. 19 point lead, halftime lead, and 18 of them <coughs> were off turnovers. So we've got to take good care of the ball. And the first half, I think they had, uh, I believe, six. Right, that's right, six off second chance for the second half. <laughs> we get a rebound with a flip in the first half. Second half, you rebound the ball, and they only got two. But they got more uh, off of, uh, they got six off turnover. But it, it's hard, it's, it's hard, you know, we, we cut that lead, and I'll tell you, I'll, I'll give you another example. You asked about the first half, and I'm just going to contribute to the second half, if you don't mind. We get the lead down to nine. They call a timeout, and they're very good at coming out of timeouts running the play. Uh, and, uh, they, uh, Smith penetrated, found Jones over the corner, he hits a three, and then we, I, I got blocked out, so I hadn't looked at the film. All I tell you is we, they, we turned it over on the inbounds play and they scored. I thought that was huge at that point of the game right there. Because I thought we had some momentum. We're getting the game into single digits. Uh, another play was when we had a, it in single digits, and if we didn't do a good job, we fouled Hancock, and he gets the free throw line. Anybody else? Questions? What adjustments did you make if any to the second half defense? Because I was in the first half, they would be wide open threes, and then the second half, a little more pressure. Well, I thought that we had great awareness in the second half. Uh, I thought our transition was better. Uh, uh, we didn't turn it over as much, although we turned I think went for a long period of time. They only had one turnover in the second half, and then they kind of came in a, a rash. We had about three in a row, and they, they capitalized off that. But defensively, Defensively, it's just a matter of, uh, of awareness, uh, and uh, I thought Coach Brooks did a great job. We had a, a really good game plan. Uh, we knew they were going to drive it a lot. They got to break the line 32 times in the game. They're, they're very good at attacking. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm pleased with the fact that they only gave up 32 points in the second half. We've been halfway decent in the first half. We got a chance to win the ball. That and take care of the ball. And, and, and that was something we had harped on. That was a huge key in the game was taking care and value in the basketball. Can't give that ball up. Tayshawn was saying that uh, 
the, the difference between the game up there and the game here was that when y'all got punched, you punched back. Is that, are you happy? Is that some progress that you're seeing from your guys right now? I like our guys to compete. They, they, they got a battle. You got to compete every day in practice. You, you got to, uh, I, if you're a competitor, if you're shooting marbles, you're shooting to win. If you're shooting free throws, you're shooting to win. If I'm defending you, I'm not going to let you score. I'm going to be mad if you score. And then I'm going to try to go right at you and, and, and score. So uh, it, 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 uh, a competitor, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a mindset, and you just you want to get in there and hammer, hammer, hammer. Our, our guys got better the last two days. Now, it didn't show in terms of the W, but our guys got better. We, we got better the last few days, and preparation was really good. I was proud of the way they competed. Never proud or happy of a, of a loss, but uh, proud of the way that our guys, there's no more victories in this game. And, and we had a chance uh, you know, to really you know, make a run there in the last uh, seven minutes. And uh, you know, we hurt ourselves. Um, I thought that uh, we were a little bit too uh, tight uh, as far as our weak side help on uh, when uh, Smith drove it. He's great at finding uh, the open man. And, and I thought, they went through a stretch there where uh, Jones really hurt us in the second half. I thought he had some big plays in the second half. Players talked about how important the crowd was, especially in the second half, you know, staying with them and uh, keeping them in the game. How important The fans were fabulous. Uh, they've been that way the last two games, and uh, I've had the opportunity to go on campus and speak to some student organizations, and uh, uh, Aaron Payton, our new marketing guy, has done a wonderful job. we got to do our, our fans work. That's a great crowd. Uh, Tonight we, we've got to we got to we got to do our part. We got to give we got to give 40 minutes and come out with the W. Anybody else? All right, once late, thank y'all for being here. Thank you very much.